We're joined on the phone by pollster, author, commentator, and Democrat strategist Doug Schoen. Hello again, Doug. How are you? First, latest CNN poll showing President Obama getting glowing approval over his handling of terrorism, 65% and over 50 for Afghanistan and Iraq. Yet when it comes to domestic issues, including the economy, his approval plummets well under 50% to as low as 25% for gas prices, for instance. Please analyze this for us. Sure. I think the president, quite justifiably, is continuing to enjoy uh, high ratings for how he handled the raid that resulted in the killing of Osama bin Laden. I think all Americans uh, are supportive of and uh, in the debt of the president for that substantial accomplishment. But that being said, uh, our economy is in uh, substantial, substantial problems. Uh, gas prices are over $4. Um, unemployment's uh, about 9%. Uh, and people are seeing a spike in food prices so that uh, the cost of living is going up, employment opportunities haven't returned, and economic growth remains a tepid 1.8%. Remember James Carville's famous admonition to candidate Clinton, it's the economy, stupid. Are we seeing a possible replay of that scenario? I, I think we are. I mean, uh, the, the president's ratings in the poll you cited are quite high, but he's only about six or seven points ahead of his uh, nearest Republican challenger, Mitt Romney. And it's certainly a case that the economy is a real drag on the pre president's performance. Uh, so far, he's benefited from the fact that uh, there is positive economic growth, however, tepid, and that interest rates have stayed low. But if interest rates went up and gas prices uh, continued to go up, I think we could see that this election, which is a tight one now, could get tighter still. Democrats are on a Medicare offensive, blasting and even vilifying Paul Ryan's reform plan. Is that a winning strategy for Democrats, and what do Republicans need to do to combat the attacks? Well, I think it is a winning strategy for Democrats. There was no real reason to believe that they were going to win New York 26, one of the most Republican districts in the state, a district John McCain carried handily. They did win uh, substantially, uh, about a 55 6% margin, and it was all because of Medicare, and they're engaging in scare tactics. They don't have an alternative set of policies, but uh, bottom line, uh, it's a lot better to win than to lose in politics, and last week the Democrats won and the Republicans lost. You didn't see a ringer candidate in that race as being an issue? Well, it was a bit of an issue, uh, the Tea Party candidate, Jack Davis, but with the Democrats winning by 5 or 6 percent, Davis getting 8 or 9 percent, it would have meant that... Uh, the Davis vote would have had to have gone 80 or 90 percent to the Republican, and uh, we don't know that that would have happened. But at the very least, even if that had happened, we would have had a very, very close election in a two-party straight fight contest. And in a district that is heavily Republican, to have it break 50-50 tells you that people are angry and scared. Doug, you saw that TV commercial of Grandma in a wheelchair being dumped off of a cliff. Is that fair game or dirty pool? It's probably fair game if it works, dirty pool if it doesn't. But uh, in this case, uh, both sides have uh, engaged in extreme rhetoric. I don't think it helps the system, but Democrats would argue it's a visual representation of what the Republicans have uh, done with the Ryan plan to Medicare, and uh, while I don't think it's necessarily uh, constructive in the broader sense of the word, in the more narrow sense, it's been effective. House Democrats are ramping up the volume following their upset win in a Western New York congressional district, the same one you mentioned, yet Republican strategist Mark McKinn in a centrist says Republicans should not run away from the Ryan plan since they're tagged with it anyway, and running doesn't help. From a strategic standpoint, is he correct? Well, Mark McKinnon is a dear friend of mine, and I think he rendered great service to George W. Bush and is a brilliant, creative guy. That being said, you can always revise the plan. You can always uh, clarify a plan. And I think that the Republicans would do well to take the Ryan plan, go back to the drawing board and see if they could come up with something that was a little bit less draconian and offered something less than 
the complete replacement of Medicare with a voucher system. Switching gears here a bit, which of the announced Republican presidential candidates do you think would have the best chance of beating Obama and why? Right now, I believe it's Mitt Romney. Uh, I think he's got uh, name recognition, he's got money, and he is a former businessman who has the ability to run on the economy. He does have the liability of having proposed the forerunner of Obamacare, but at this point, I'd say that Republican frontrunner for the nomination, Mitt Romney, would be the toughest candidate for President Obama to be. Who do Democrats fear the most? Oh, I think Democrats fear somebody who's not in the race, like uh, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The American people are looking for fresh faces, and if somebody like Chris Christie got into the race, I think there's a real chance that there could be a boomlet of excitement that could catapult him pretty quickly to the top of the poll. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani overnight to, takes the top position among Republican voters in a poll. How does that happen? That's, that's name recognition and dissatisfaction with the Republican field. I said that Mitt Romney's the front runner, but I didn't say that he's enthusiastically embraced by the Republican base. He isn't. Rudy Giuliani is remembered well for his work in New York City, fighting terrorism, helping the city recover uh, after 9-11. There is a clear sense that he is somebody who can and should be heard from. I think this is more a recognition of past success and an embracing of the need for a broader, more inclusive Republican field. Does Rudy have gravitas on the national scale if he decides to run for any reason? I think he's got gravitas. I think the problem he has is that he's perceived as too much of a centrist for an increasingly conservative Republican primary electorate. As always, right to the point. Doug Schoen, thank you so much. We appreciate hey, it. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.